Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a digital product that you can make with the help of artificial intelligence. But I decided to make this video a two-part series. Today, we are going to talk about digital products that you can make with the help of artificial intelligence that are beginner friendly. So if you are new to the digital products world, these will be perfect for you that I'm going to talk about today. And then in the next video, we are going to talk about digital product ideas that are more advanced and it will require more resources from your end. These ideas are for people who already created a few digital products, know how to present their products and how to market it and where to sell it. But I'm going to give a few tips on that too. In today's video, in this category, we are going to talk about three digital products that can be made very fast with the help of a program called Mid Journey. Now, a quick note here. To create anything with artificial intelligence for commercial use, you will have to purchase one of their plans. With Mid Journey, their cheapest plan being $10 that is very doable in my opinion. Their most expensive plan is $60, but with just $10 you can get started creating digital products very fast. This means that you will gain traction in your digital products business because the faster you can create the products and the faster you can list them and the more you can list them, the higher your chances are of making really good sales in the world of digital products. And I am not talking only about platforms like Etsy, but also you can list these on design bundles, the Hungry JPEG or Creative Fabrica. I would stay away from Creative Market because that is a resource for professional designers and I think that those people might be able to figure out that these products were created with artificial intelligence and not by graphicians or people who do this in a full-time or in part-time. But before I get into it and I start talking about these products and give you clear examples, I just would like to quickly mention that my course Passive Income with Printables or Digital Products is open for enrollment again. And inside of this program, how to create a digital product business on Etsy from start to finish. And the best part about this program is that it comes with three months of extended support, which means we talk each week on Zoom and I answer all of your questions, give you clear tips and tricks, what to design, what not to design, and how to present your products on the Etsy platform. If you would like a 30% discount, use the code YouTube at checkout. So without any further ado, let's talk about these digital products that you can create very fast with the help of Midjourney or artificial intelligence. You can use other platforms as well, but Midjourney is the one that I use. So let's talk about the process. To use Midjourney, you have to create an account with them and you will use Discord to generate the images that you will be selling on these different platforms. And by platforms, I mean Etsy, Design Bundles, The Hungry JPEG, Creative Fabrica, and I have another surprise one at the end. Inside these niches, before we start designing or creating anything with Mid Journey, we will have to take a look and see what styles are selling at the moment. I know that neutrals are really in, jewel tones, marbles, these are all trending topics right now. And for that, I use the tool called Everbee. If you would like to try out Everbee for free, then click the link in the description or in the first pinned comment. We are going to take a look at Etsy and design bundles and see what is selling there at the moment and we will uh, do some analytics and we are going to create the products themselves in Midjourney. So let's hop over to my computer and I will show you how to do it. The first digital product that you can create with artificial intelligence and in Midjourney are textures. These are used by professional designers when they want to make mock-ups or the or they just simply would like to apply a texture to certain objects in their work. They can be used really easily as backgrounds, but textures are a really good product category to get into. The best for these kinds of products, I would list them on Etsy and on Design Bundles and Creative Fabric. As you can see here on Etsy, there are lots of textures available. Let's take a look at these two. This first one is a beige texture. They have different kinds of lighter and more darker ones. This looks like a burlap. These look like stone, but they are but they are all beige and they are selling for four dollars at the moment and these are some vintage paper textures they are selling for eight usually but now they are on a sale but these look really nice as well and they are very realistic this texture set has the bestseller badge so let's see how much money did they make and you can easily find 
winning digital products with the help of Everbee. You can try it out for free with the link in my description and in the first pinned comment. But as you can see, this one made $55 in the last month and this is just one product. And here are the keywords that they are using. But just for five or six textures, selling at $5 a month, they are selling 13 to 20, let's say, a month, then that is a really good profit to be made at the end of the day. And you can also see how much they took home from this. They took home 436 after all of the fees were taken out. And just for one product, that is a really good passive income that you can get. In the mid-journey, I added the following. I entered slash imagine, that is our prompt. And then I entered wood textures. And here are the results that, as you can see, they look very nice and very realistic. I also added marble textures with gold flakes. I got these for the wooden textures, but it's not what I want. It's this one, something similar to this first one. So I'm going to remix this. And here are the results for the gold marble textures with gold flakes. I think it looks really nice, especially this one. I like this one the most. But I'm going to remix it again to get more results. It is not exactly what I want, but I would need to massage this uh, prompt a little bit further to get to the marble texture that I really want. But here we are seeing some results. I think that all four of these would be really good and uh, they can be sold. I just had to change the prompt from wood textures in the plural to the wood texture without the S at the end and I got what I wanted. Now all you have to do is do the upscale or you can create more variations for one of these. The next beginner friendly digital product that you can create with Midjourney and you can create these really fast are patterns or digital papers. They are kind of intertwined and kind of the same but not at the same time. But you can create patterns and digital papers with these. And usually the standard size for digital papers is anyways 2000 pixels by 2000 so these will be really good for us. These are used mostly by people who like to do scrapbooking and digital scrapbooking but patterns are used by professional designers as well. I would also list these on Etsy, Design Bundles, Hungry JPEG and Creative Fabrica. And the monthly cost for these is still the same $10. As the example for these I chose a prompt that is Art Deco pattern. And this is what Midjourney came up with. Art Deco is already known about their decorative lines and decorative elements. So I thought that this would be a perfect prompt for Midjourney. And it really delivered. I am very impressed with these patterns and with these digital papers, let's say. I love the gold accent, I love the blue, I love everything about it. I will create another set of variations for this. I would put them in a pack of eight and I would list them on Etsy or in Design Bundles. These are amazing and I love them a lot. Of course, you have to separately upscale each of them and then do a beta upscale to get the 2000 pixel version because if you just simply upscale them, they will be 1000 by 1000 pixels, which is not enough. And as you can see, the variations came out amazing as well. I would put them in a pack and list them on those websites. I just quickly entered in Art Deco pattern into design bundles and these are the results that we got. I think that the ones we have are much better. Maybe these are similar to the things that we have, but I think they look really nice. And this Art Deco set, you can see at 27 Ron, I'm based in Romania, but this is about $5. And $5 for a set that we just created in less than 10 seconds, it is a really good profit that you can have. And after that, we can put some spins on these patterns, like these balloons right here, they just cut out shapes, or like with these patterns, they look amazing as well, or some earrings. As you can see, you can create lots of lots of things with the patterns that you create with the help of artificial intelligence. I also entered in the same keywords into Etsy, and as you can see, the top results are the same ones that we saw on design bundles. So other people are utilizing the multiple platform method. And you can also generate just one with white and gold. And we already have the black and gold one. So you can list multiple things with these patterns that we create. That wasn't very hard, right? Now, I have one more beginner-friendly digital product idea that you can create, but it is a little different. And by this, I mean that you would not list these on Etsy. Well, you could, but 
your target audience for these kinds of products would be on websites like Shutterstock or iStock or things like that, the stock photography websites. And with that, I think that I gave it away that I'm thinking about creating some kind of stock photography with the help of artificial intelligence. We do not need any other softwares for these, except if you would like to sell them in a higher resolution format as well, then you have some different options there. But if you would like just to sell them as they are at 2000 pixels by 2000, well, you can play around with the dimensions as well. And I will show you a trick of how to do that. Then you can create stock photography with the help of artificial intelligence. And I will show you right now how. While I wait for my computer to do its thing, I just really would like to say that I'm really glad that you are watching and if you would like some more informative tutorials and videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and the give it a like for the YouTube algorithm. It helps out the channel a lot. So let's get back to the digital products. For this to work properly, as I mentioned it before, you have to massage the artificial intelligence a little bit so you will have to play around with the prompts so that they will give you exactly what you want. But just keep in mind, it might need a, you might need a little practice with this one. I entered in men stacking coins with an increasing graph over the coins. And in this case, I thought about the financial industry. And I know that that is one of the best paying niches out there. So anything that you will create for this niche, it will be paying really well because people are willing to pay for some premium images and for some unique images for their blogs, websites and things like that. But I think all of these look really well and uh, this is my favorite one. This one would be okay if it wouldn't have the Bitcoin sign over there. But these two or these three are a really good example of what I wanted. Now to have the landscape layout that I mentioned before, let's try another prompt. I entered in the prompt, men stacking dollar bills and coins with a piggy bank next to the money. And I entered two column three. I think that this first image turned out really great. This second one is a little bit too realistic. This one has an ear as you can see it, but these two are kind of usable and you can start playing around with those. And as you can see on Shutterstock, as you can see, you, can, you have to pay almost 10 euros for each image, which means that Shutterstock gets a lot of money just after a few images. So if you have a lot of, lot of, lot of images here on Shutterstock, you might be able to make a lot of money with this niche. And let's see the money niche. I just quickly typed in money into the Shutterstock search bar. And as you can see, this image and even this one resembles the one that we created together. But this one is similar as well. As you saw, you can easily create images like these with the help of Mid Journey and with the help of artificial intelligence. A good thing to do is to niche down even further. Money is a very broad term, but if you niche down even further, going for these separate terms, you can create even more passive income with the help of Mid Journey, with digital products and with these kinds of images. And you can easily create these with Mid Journey. I came back to Mid Journey and typed in the prompt money bag on a table. Of course, I should have added the size indicators as well, the two column three or three column two, however you would like your pictures to be displayed. But these are square images at the moment. And I think that these two or these three can be used as stock photography easily. That was it for today's video. I only had three digital product ideas today, but next time I'm bringing you even more advanced digital product ideas. I wanted to create a separate video for people who are just starting out so they will know what to create and where to begin so that they will get some experience and the knowledge that they need to list their items on all of these platforms that I just mentioned. With that said, keep an eye out for the next video with advanced digital product ideas. Oh, and don't forget, Passive Income with Printables is open for enrollment and the doors will close on the 26th. So grab your seat and use the 30% off coupon when you check out. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss a video when I talk about digital products, making money, making money on Etsy, making money on Etsy with digital products and so on. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!